Introduction to the Book of Ezra The Book of Ezra documents the faithfulness of God in keeping His promise despite a difficult political reality. Through the prophet Jeremiah, God had promised that the Jews would return to the Promised Land after 70 years of captivity in Babylon. Babylon eventually fell to Persia. It was then that Persia permitted the return of many exiled Jews. God was fulfilling His promise. According to ancient Jewish tradition, the priest Ezra wrote about these return journeys in this book, which bears his name, about 440 B.C. He also describes the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem, which had been destroyed along with the city. God had disciplined His people for not keeping His laws. Possession of the land and the blessing of God were always dependent on Israel's spiritual fidelity to God. Under Ezra's leadership, the Jews learned God's laws and decrees and reformed their religious life as they rebuilt the temple and the city walls. Now they were once again in a position to live as God's chosen people in the land God promised to their forefathers and thus became an example to the nations around them. As you listen, think about Ezra's actions in view of his devotion to God and note his humble obedience. Ezra chapter 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus saith Cyrus, king of Persia, The Lord God of heaven hath given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he hath charged me to build him an house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Who is there among all of his people? His God be with him. And let him go up to Jerusalem, which is in Judah, and build the house of the Lord God of Israel. He is the God, which is in Jerusalem. And whosoever remaineth in any place where he sojourneth, let the men of his place help him with silver, and with gold, and with goods, and with beasts, beside the freewill offering for the house of God that is in Jerusalem. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Judah and Benjamin and the priests and the Levites with all them whose spirit God had raised to go up to build the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts and with precious things beside all that was willingly offered. Also Cyrus the king brought forth the vessels of the house of the Lord which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Jerusalem and had put them in the house of his gods. Even those did Cyrus king of Persia bring forth by the hand of Mithridath, the treasurer, and numbered them unto Shabazar, the prince of Judah. And this is the number of them, thirty chargers of gold, a thousand chargers of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty basins of gold, silver basins of a second sort, four hundred and ten, and other vessels a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were five thousand and four hundred. All these did Sheshbazar bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babylon unto Jerusalem. Chapter 2. Now these are the children of the province that went up out of the captivity of those which had been carried away, whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away unto Babylon, and came again unto Jerusalem and Judah, every one unto a city, which came with Zerubbabel, Jeshua, Nehemiah, Seraiah, Realiah, Mordecai, Bilshan, Mispar, Bigvei, Rehum, Beana. The number of the men of the people of Israel, the children of Parosh, 2,170 and 2, the children of Shephatiah, 370 and 2, the children of Ara, 770 and 5, the children of Pehath Moab, of the children of Jeshua and Joab, 2,812, the children of Elam, 1,250 and 4, the children of Zatu, 940 and 5, the children of Zechai, seven hundred and three score. The children of Bani, six hundred forty and two. The children of Babai, six hundred twenty and three. The children of Azgad, a thousand two hundred twenty and two. The children of Adonikam, six hundred sixty and six. The children of Bagvei, two thousand fifty and six. 
the children of Adin, 450 and 4, the children of Ater of Hezekiah, 90 and 8, the children of Bezai, 320 and 3, the children of Jorah, 112, the children of Hashem, 220 and 3, the children of Gibar, 90 and 5, the children of Bethlehem, 120 and 3, the men of Netophah, 50 and 6, the men of Anathoth, 120 and 8, the children of Azmeveth, 40 and 2, the children of Kirjatharim, Kephira, and Beeroth, 740 and 3, the children of Ramah and Geba, 620 and 1, the men of Michmas, 120 and 2, the men of Bethel, and Ai, 220 and 3, the children of Nebo, 50 and 2, the children of Magbish, 150 and 6, the children of the other Elam, 1,250 and 4, the children of Harim, 320, the children of Lod, Hadid, and Ono, 720 and 5, the children of Jericho, 340 and 5, the children of Sena'a, 3,630, the priests, the children of Jediah, of the house of Jeshua, 970 and 3, the children of Imer, 1,050 and 2, the children of Pasher, 1,240 and 7, the children of Harim, 1,017, the Levites, the children of Jeshua, Kadmiel, of the children of Hodeviah, 70 and 4, the singers, the children of Asaph, and 120 and 8, the children of the porters, the children of Shalom, the children of Ater, the children of Talmon, the children of Akub, the children of Hatita, the children of Shobei, in all, an hundred thirty and nine. The Nethanims, the children of Zaiha, the children of Hasupha, the children of Tabaoth, the children of Kiros, the children of Saiha, the children of Pedon, the children of Lebena, the children of Hagaba, the children of Akub, the children of Hagab, the children of Shalmai, the children of Hanan, the children of Gidel, the children of Gehar, the children of Riaya, the children of Rizim, the children of Nekoda, the children of Gazam, the children of Uza, the children of Pasia, the children of Bisai, the children of Asna, the children of Mehunim, the children of Nephosim, the children of Bakbuk, the children of Hakufa, the children of Hahur, the children of Basluth, the children of Mehida, the children of Harsha, the children of Barkos, the children of Sisera, the children of Thema, the children of Neziah, the children of Hatapha, the children of Solomon's servants, the children of Sotei, the children of Sophereth, the children of Peruda, the children of Jeala, the children of Darkon, the children of Gidel, the children of Shephatiah, the children of Hatil, the children of Pokereth of Zebaim, the children of Amai. All the Nethanims and the children of Solomon's servants were three hundred ninety and two. And these were they which went up from Telmila, Telharsa, Cherub, Adan, and Imer. But they could not shew their father's house and their seed whether they were of Israel. The children of Deliah, the children of Tobiah, the children of Nekoda, six hundred fifty and two. And of the children of the priests, the children of Habiah, the children of Koz, the children of Barzillai, which took a wife of the daughters of Barzillai, the Gileadite, and was called after their name. These sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore were they, as polluted, put from the priesthood. And the Tirshatha said unto them that they should not eat of the most holy things, till there stood up a priest with Urim and with Thummim. The whole congregation together was forty and two thousand three hundred and three score, beside their servants and their maids, of whom there were seven thousand three hundred thirty and seven, and there were among them two hundred singing men and singing women. Their horses were seven hundred thirty and six, their mules two hundred forty and five, their camels four hundred thirty and five, their asses six thousand seven hundred and twenty. And some of the chief of the fathers, when they came to the house of the Lord, which is at Jerusalem, offered freely for the house of God to set it up in his place. They gave after their ability unto the treasure of the work three score and one thousand drams of gold, and five thousand pound of silver, and one hundred priests' garments. So the priests and the Levites and some of the people and the singers and the porters and the Nethanims dwelt in their cities and all Israel in their cities. Chapter 3 And when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem. Then stood up Jeshua the son of Josadak and his brethren the priests, and Jerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and his brethren, and builded the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God. 
And they set the altar upon his bases, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries, and they offered burnt offerings thereon unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. They kept also the feast of tabernacles, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom, as the duty of every day required. And afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons, and of all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and of every one that willingly offered a freewill offering unto the Lord. For the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons and to the carpenters, and meat and drink and oil unto them of Zidon, and to them of Tyre, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea of Joppa, according to the grant that they had of Cyrus king of Persia. Now in the second year of their coming unto the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, began Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel, and Jeshua the son of Josadak, and the remnant of their brethren, the priests and the Levites, and all they that were come out of the captivity unto Jerusalem, and appointed the Levites from twenty years old and upward to set forward the work of the house of the Lord. Then stood Jeshua with his sons and his brethren, Kadmiel and his sons, the sons of Judah, together to set forward the workmen in the house of God, the sons of Henedad, with their sons and their brethren the Levites. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets, and the Levites the sons of Asaph with cymbals to praise the Lord after the ordinance of David king of Israel. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord, because he is good, for his mercy endureth for ever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and Levites and chiefs of the fathers who were ancient men that had seen the first house, when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard afar off. Chapter 4 Now when the adversaries of Judah and Benjamin heard that the children of the captivity builded the temple unto the Lord God of Israel, then they came to Zerubbabel and to the chief of the fathers and said unto them, Let us build with you, for we seek your God as ye do. And we do sacrifice unto him since the days of Esar Haddon, king of Assur, which brought us up hither. But Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with us to build an house unto our God. But we ourselves together will build unto the Lord God of Israel, as King Cyrus the king of Persia hath commanded us. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah, and troubled them in building, and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose, all the days of Cyrus king of Persia, even until the reign of Darius king of Persia. And in the reign of Ahasuerus, in the beginning of his reign, wrote they unto him an accusation against the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem. And in the days of Artaxerxes wrote Bishlam, Mithridath, Tabiel, and the rest of their companions, unto Artaxerxes, king of Persia. And the writing of the letter was written in the Syrian tongue, and interpreted in the Syrian tongue. Rehum the chancellor and Shimshai the scribe wrote a letter against Jerusalem to Artaxerxes the king in this sort. Then wrote Rehum the chancellor and Shimshai the scribe, and the rest of their companions. The Dineites, the Apharsachites, the Tarpilites, the Apharsites, the Archivites, the Babylonians, the Susankites, the Dehavites, and the Elamites, and the rest of the nations whom the great and noble Asnapar brought over and set in the cities of Samaria, and the rest that are on this side the river, and at such a time. This is the copy of the letter that they sent unto him, even unto Artaxerxes the king. Thy servants, the men on this side the river, and at such a time, be it known unto the king, that the Jews which came up from thee to us are come unto Jerusalem, building the rebellious and the bad city, and have set up the walls thereof, and joined the foundations. Be it known now unto the king, that if this city be builded, and the walls set up again, then will they not pay toll, tribute, and custom, and so thou shalt endamage the revenue of the kings. Now, because we have maintenance from the king's palace, and it was not meet for us to see the king's dishonor. Therefore have we sent and certified the king. That search may be made in the book of the records of thy fathers, 
so shalt thou find in the book of the records, and know that this city is a rebellious city, and hurtful unto kings and provinces, and that they have moved sedition within the same of all time, for which cause was this city destroyed? We certify the king that if this city be builded again, and the walls thereof set up, by this means thou shalt have no portion on this side the river. Then sent the king an answer unto Rehum, the chancellor, and to Shimshai, the scribe, and to the rest of their companions that dwell in Samaria, and unto the rest beyond the river, Peace, and at such a time. The letter which ye sent unto us hath been plainly read before me. And I commanded, and search hath been made, and it is found that this city of old time hath made insurrection against kings, and that rebellion and sedition have been made therein. There have been mighty kings also over Jerusalem, which have ruled over all countries beyond the river, and toll, tribute, and custom was paid unto them. Give ye now commandment to cause these men to cease, and that this city be not builded until another commandment shall be given from me. Take heed now that ye fail not to do this. Why should damage grow to the hurt of the kings? Now when the copy of King Artaxerxes' letter was read before Rehum and Shimshai, the scribe, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews, and made them to cease by force and power. Then ceased the work of the house of God which is at Jerusalem. So it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Chapter 5 Then the prophets Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. Then rose up Zerubbabel the son of Shealtiel and Jeshua the son of Josadak, and began to build the house of God which is at Jerusalem. And with them were the prophets of God helping them. At the same time came them Tatnai, governor on this side the river, and Shethar Boznai, and their companions, and said thus unto them, Who hath commanded you to build this house, and to make up this wall? Then said we unto them after this manner, What are the names of the men that make this building? But the eye of their God was upon the elders of the Jews, that they could not cause them to cease till the matter came to Darius, and then they returned answer by letter concerning this matter. The copy of the letter that Tatnai, governor on this side the river, and Shethar Boznai, and his companions, the Arpharsakites, which were on this side the river, sent unto Darius the king. They sent a letter unto him, wherein was written thus, Unto Darius the king, all peace. Be it known unto the king, that we went into the province of Judea, to the house of the great God, which is builded with great stones, and timber is laid in the walls, and this work goeth fast on, and prospereth in their hands. Then asked we those elders, and said unto them thus, Who commanded you to build this house, and to make up these walls? We asked their names also, to certify thee, that we might write the names of the men that were the chief of them. And thus they returned us answer, saying, We are the servants of the God of heaven and earth, and build the house that was builded these many years ago which a great king of Israel builded and set up. But after that our fathers had provoked the God of heaven unto wrath. He gave them into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, the Chaldean, who destroyed this house and carried the people away into Babylon. But in the first year of Cyrus, the king of Babylon, the same king Cyrus made a decree to build this house of God. And the vessels also of gold and silver of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took out of the temple that was in Jerusalem, and brought them into the temple of Babylon. Those did Cyrus the king take out of the temple of Babylon, and they were delivered unto one whose name was Shesbazar, whom he had made governor, and said unto him, Take these vessels, go, carry them into the temple that is in Jerusalem, and let the house of God be builded in his place. Then came the same Shesbazar, and laid the foundation of the house of God which is in Jerusalem, and since that time even unto now hath been in building and yet it is not finished. Now therefore, if it seem good to the king, let there be search made in the king's treasure house, which is there at Babylon, whether it be so that a decree was made of Cyrus the king to build this house of God at Jerusalem, and let the king send his pleasure to us concerning this matter. Chapter 6 
Then Darius, the king, made a decree, and search was made in the house of the rolls, where the treasures were laid up in Babylon. And there was found at Achmetha, in the palace that is in the province of the Medes, a roll, and therein was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus the king, the same Cyrus the king made a decree concerning the house of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be built, the place where they offered sacrifices, and let the foundations thereof be strongly laid. The height thereof three score cubits, and the breadth thereof three score cubits, with three rows of great stones and a row of new timber. And let the expenses be given out of the king's house. And also let the golden and silver vessels of the house of God, which Nebuchadnezzar took forth out of the temple which is at Jerusalem and brought unto Babylon, be restored and brought again unto the temple which is at Jerusalem, every one to his place, and place them in the house of God. Now therefore, Tatnai, governor beyond the river, Shethar Boznai, and your companion the Aphasakites, which are beyond the river, be ye far from thence. Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governor of the Jews and the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. Moreover, I make a decree, what ye shall do to the elders of these Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the king's goods, even of the tribute beyond the river, forthwith expenses be given unto these men, that they be not hindered, and that which they have need of, both young bullocks and rams and lambs, for the burnt offerings of the God of heaven, wheat, salt, wine, and oil, according to the appointment of the priests which are at Jerusalem, let it be given them day by day without fail, that they may offer sacrifices of sweet savours unto the God of heaven, and pray for the life of the king and of his sons. Also I have made a decree that whosoever shall alter this word, let timber be pulled down from his house, and being set up, let him be hanged thereon, and let his house be made a dunghill for this. And the God that hath caused his name to dwell there destroy all kings and people that shall put to their hand to alter and to destroy this house of God which is at Jerusalem. I, Darius, have made a decree. Let it be done with speed. Then Tatnai, governor on this side the river, Shetharboznai, and their companions according to that which Darius the king had sent, so they did speedily. And the elders of the Jews builded, and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they builded and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel, and according to the commandment of Cyrus and Darius and Artaxerxes king of Persia. And this house was finished on the third day of the month, Adar, which was in the sixth year of the reign of Darius the king. And the children of Israel, the priests and the Levites, and the rest of the children of the captivity, kept the dedication of this house of God with joy, and offered at the dedication of this house of God an hundred bullocks, two hundred rams, four hundred lambs, and for a sin offering for all people, twelve he-goats according to the number of the tribes of Israel. And they set the priests in their divisions and the Levites in their courses for the service of God which is at Jerusalem, as it is written in the book of Moses. And the children of the captivity kept the Passover upon the fourteenth day of the first month. For the priests and the Levites were purified together, all of them were pure, and killed the Passover for all the children of the captivity and for their brethren the priests and for themselves. And the children of Israel which were come again out of captivity and all such as had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen of the land to seek the Lord God of Israel did eat and kept the feast of unleavened bread seven days with joy. For the Lord had made them joyful and turned the heart of the king of Assyria unto them to strengthen their hands in the work of the house of God, the God of Israel. Chapter 7 Now after these things in the reign of Artaxerxes king of Persia Ezra, the son of Sariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Hilkiah, the son of Shalom, the son of Zadok, the son of Ahotub, the son of Amariah, the son of Azariah, the son of Merioth, the son of Zerahiah, the son of Uzai, the son of Bukai, the son of Abishua, the son of Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the chief priest. This Ezra went up from Babylon, and he was a ready scribe in the law of Moses, which the Lord God of Israel had given. And the king granted him all his request, according to the hand of the Lord his God upon him. And there went up some of the children of Israel, and of the priests, and the Levites, and the singers, and the porters, and the Nethanims, unto Jerusalem in the seventh year of Artaxerxes the king. And he came to Jerusalem in the fifth month, which was in the seventh year of the king. 
For upon the first day of the first month began he to go up from Babylon, and on the first day of the fifth month came to Jerusalem, according to the good hand of his God upon him. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord, and to do it, and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Now this is the copy of the letter that the king Artaxerxes gave unto Ezra the priest, the scribe, even a scribe of the words of the commandments of the Lord, and of his statutes to Israel. Artaxerxes, king of kings, unto Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of heaven, perfect peace, and at such a time. I make a decree that all they of the people of Israel, and of his priests and Levites in my realm, which are minded of their own free will to go up to Jerusalem, go with thee. For as much as thou art sent of the king, and of his seven counselors, to inquire concerning Judah and Jerusalem, according to the law of thy God which is in thine hand, and to carry the silver and gold, which the king and his counselors have freely offered unto the God of Israel, whose habitation is in Jerusalem. And all the silver and gold that thou canst find in all the province of Babylon, with a free will offering of the people and of the priests, offering willingly for the house of their God which is in Jerusalem, that thou mayest buy speedily with this money bullocks, rams, lambs, with their meat offerings and their drink offerings, and offer them upon the altar of the house of your God which is in Jerusalem. And whatsoever shall seem good to thee and to thy brethren to do with the rest of the silver and the gold, that do after the will of your God. The vessels also that are given thee for the service of the house of thy God, those deliver thou before the God of Jerusalem. And whatsoever more shall be needful for the house of thy God, which thou shalt have occasion to bestow, bestow it out of the king's treasure house. And I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, do make a decree to all the treasurers which are beyond the river, that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, shall require of you, it be done speedily. Unto an hundred talents of silver, and to an hundred measures of wheat, and to an hundred baths of wine, and to an hundred baths of oil, and salt without prescribing how much. Whatsoever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be diligently done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Also we certify you that touching any of the priests and Levites, singers, porters, nethanims, or ministers of this house of God, it shall not be lawful to impose toll, tribute, or custom upon them. And thou, Ezra, after the wisdom of thy God, that is in thine hand, set magistrates and judges, which may judge all the people that are beyond the river, all such as know the laws of thy God, and teach ye them that know them not. And whosoever will not do the law of thy God and the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be unto death, or to banishment, or to confiscation of goods, or to imprisonment. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, which hath put such a thing as this in the king's heart, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and hath extended mercy unto me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. And I was strengthened as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go up with me. Chapter 8 these are now the chief of their fathers, and this is the genealogy of them that went up with me from Babylon, in the reign of Artaxerxes the king. Of the sons of Phinehas, Gershom. Of the sons of Ithamar, Daniel. Of the sons of David, Hattush. Of the sons of Shechaniah, of the sons of Farosh, Zechariah. And with him were reckoned by genealogy of the males an hundred and fifty. Of the sons of Pehoth Moab, Elihoenai, the son of Zerahiah. And with him two hundred males. Of the sons of Shechaniah, the son Jehaziel, and with him three hundred males. Of the sons also of Adin, Ebed, the son of Jonathan, and with him fifty males. And of the sons of Elam, Jeshiah, the son of Athaliah, and with him seventy males. And of the sons of Shephatiah, Zebediah, the son of Michael, and with him fourscore males. Of the sons of Joab, Obadiah, the son of Jehiel, and with him two hundred and eighteen males. And of the sons of Shelomith, the son of Josephiah, and with him an hundred and three score males. And of the sons of Bibei, Zechariah, the son of Bibei, and with him twenty and eight males. And of the sons of Azgad, Johanan, the son of Hakatan, and with him an hundred and ten males. And of the last sons of Adonikam, whose names are these, Eliphalet, 
Jiael, and Shemaiah, and with them threescore males. Of the sons also of Bigvei, Uthai, and Zabud, and with them seventy males. And I gathered them together to the river that runneth to Ahava, and there abode we in tents three days. And I viewed the people and the priests, and found there none of the sons of Levi. Then sent I for Eliezer, for Ariel, for Shemaiah, and for Elnathan, and for Jarib, and for Elnathan, and for Nathan, and for Zechariah, and for Meshulam, chief men, also for Joarib, and for Elnathan, men of understanding. And I sent them with commandment unto Edo, the chief at the place Casephiah. And I told them what they should say unto Edo, and to his brethren the Nethanims, at the place Casephiah, that they should bring unto us ministers for the house of our God. And by the good hand of our God upon us they brought us a man of understanding, the sons of Malai, the son of Levi, the son of Israel, and Sherebiah with his sons and his brethren eighteen, and Hashabiah and with him Jeshiah of the sons of Merari, his brethren and their sons twenty. Also of the Nethanims, whom David and the princes had appointed for the service of the Levites, two hundred and twenty Nethanims, all of them were expressed by name. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river Ahiva, that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy in the way, because we had spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. So we fasted and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. Then I separated twelve of the chief of the priests, Sherebiah, Hashabiah, and ten of their brethren with them, and weighed unto them the silver and the gold and the vessels, even the offering of the house of our God, which the king and his counselors and his lords and all Israel there present had offered. I even weighed unto their hands six hundred and fifty talents of silver, and silver vessels and hundred talents, and of gold and hundred talents. Also twenty basins of gold of a thousand drams, and two vessels of fine copper, precious as gold. And I said unto them, Ye are holy unto the Lord, the vessels are holy also, and the silver and the gold are a free will offering unto the Lord God of your fathers. Watch ye, and keep them, until ye weigh them before the chief of the priests and the Levites, and chief of the fathers of Israel at Jerusalem, in the chambers of the house of the Lord. So took the priests and the Levites the weight of the silver and the gold and the vessels to bring them to Jerusalem unto the house of our God. Then we departed from the river of Aheva on the twelfth day of the first month to go unto Jerusalem. And the hand of our God was upon us, and he delivered us from the hand of the enemy and of such as lay in wait by the way. And we came to Jerusalem and abode there three days. Now on the fourth day was the silver and the gold and the vessels weighed in the house of our God by the hand of Meremoth, the son of Uriah the priest, and with him was Eleazar the son of Phinehas, and with them was Josabad the son of Jeshua, and Noadiah the son of Binuai, Levites. By number and by weight of every one, and all the weight was written at that time. Also the children of those that had been carried away, which were come out of the captivity, offered burnt offerings unto the God of Israel, twelve bullocks for all Israel, ninety and six rams, seventy and seven lambs, twelve he-goats for a sin offering. All this was a burnt offering unto the Lord. And they delivered the king's commissions unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors on this side the river, and they furthered the people and the house of God. Chapter 9 Now when these things were done, the princes came to me, saying, The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites have not separated themselves from the people of the lands, doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken of their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed have mingled themselves with the people of those lands. Yea, the hand of the princes and rulers hath been chief in this trespass. When I heard this thing, I rent my garment and my mantle, and plucked off the hair of my head and of my beard, and sat down a stonied. Then were assembled unto me every one that trembled at the words of the God of Israel, because of the transgression of those that had been carried away. And I sat a stonied until the evening sacrifice. And at the evening sacrifice I arose up from my heaviness, and having rent my garment and my mantle, I fell upon my knees, and spread out my hands unto the Lord my God, and said, O oh my God, I am ashamed, and blush to lift up my face to thee, my God. 
For our iniquities are increased over our head, and our trespasses grown up unto the heavens. Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests, been delivered into the hand of the kings of the lands, to the sword, to captivity, and to a spoil, and to confusion of face, as it is this day. And now for a little space grace hath been shewed from the Lord our God, to leave us a remnant to escape, and to give us a nail in his holy place, that our God may lighten our eyes, and give us a little reviving in our bondage. For we were bondmen, yet our God hath not forsaken us in our bondage but hath extended mercy unto us in the sight of the kings of Persia, to give us a reviving, to set up the house of our God, and to repair the desolations thereof, and to give us a wall in Judah and in Jerusalem. And now, O our God, what shall we say after this? For we have forsaken thy commandments, which thou hast commanded by thy servants the prophets, saying, The land unto which ye go to possess it is an unclean land with the filthiness of the people of the lands, with their abominations, which have filled it from one end to another with their uncleanness. Now therefore give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth forever, that ye may be strong and eat the good of the land and leave it for an inheritance to your children forever. And after that is come upon us for our evil deeds and for our great trespass, seeing that our God has punished us less than our iniquities deserve and has given us such deliverance as this. Should we again break thy commandments and join in affinity with the people of these abominations, wouldst not thou be angry with us till thou hadst consumed us, so that there should be no remnant nor escaping? O Lord God of Israel, thou art righteous, for we remain yet escaped. As it is this day, behold, we are before thee in our trespasses, for we cannot stand before thee because of this. Chapter 10 now when Ezra had prayed, and when he had confessed, weeping and casting himself down before the house of God, there assembled unto him out of Israel a very great congregation of men and women and children, for the people wept very sore. And Shechaniah, the son of Jehiel, one of the sons of Elam, answered, and said unto Ezra, We have trespassed against our God, and have taken strange wives of the people of the land, yet now there is hope in Israel concerning this thing. Now therefore let us make a covenant with our God to put away all the wives, and such as are born of them, according to the counsel of my Lord, and of those that tremble at the commandment of our God, and let it be done according to the law. Arise, for this matter belongeth unto thee. We also will be with thee. Be of good courage and do it. Then arose Ezra, and made the chief priests, the Levites, and all Israel to swear that they should do according to this word, and they swear. Then Ezra rose up from before the house of God and went into the chamber of Jehonan, the son of Eliashib. And when he came thither, he did eat no bread nor drink water, for he mourned because of the transgression of them that had been carried away. And they made proclamation throughout Judah and Jerusalem unto all the children of the captivity that they should gather themselves together unto Jerusalem, and that whatsoever would not come within three days according to the counsel of the princes and the elders, all his substance should be forfeited, and himself separated from the congregation of those that had been carried away. Then all the men of Judah and Benjamin gathered themselves together unto Jerusalem within three days. It was the ninth month, on the twentieth day of the month, and all the people sat in the streets of the house of God, trembling because of this matter, and for the great rain. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, Ye have transgressed, and have taken strange wives, to increase the trespass of Israel, now therefore make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourselves from the people of the land and from the strange wives. And then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. But the people are many, and it is a time of much rain, and we are not able to stand without, neither is this a work of one day or two, for we are many that have transgressed in this thing. Let now our rulers of all the congregation stand, and let all them which have taken strange wives in our cities come at appointed times, and with them the elders of every city, and the judges thereof, until the fierce wrath of our God for this matter be turned from us. Only Jonathan, the son of Asahel, and Jehaziah, the son of Tikvah, were employed about this matter, and Meshulam and Shabbatai, the Levite, helped them, and the children of the captivity did so. And Ezra the priest, with certain chief of the fathers, after the house of their fathers, and all of them by their names, were separated, and sat down in the first day of the tenth month to examine the matter. 
and they made an end with all the men that had taken strange wives by the first day of the first month. And among the sons of the priests that were found that had taken strange wives, namely of the sons of Jeshua, the son of Josadak, and his brethren, Maasiah and Eliezer, and Jarib and Gedaliah, and they gave their hands that they would put away their wives, and being guilty they offered a ram of the flock for their trespass. And of the sons of Emer, Hanani, and Zebadiah, and of the sons of Harim, Maasiah, and Elijah, and Shemaiah, and Jehiel, and Uzziah, and of the sons of Pashur, Eliohinai, Maasiah, Ishmael, Nathaniel, Josabad, and Elisa, also of the Levites, Josabad, and Shimei, Keliah, the same is Kelaita, Pethahiah, Judah, Eliezer, of the singers also, Eliashib, and of the porters, Shalom, and Telem, and Urai, Moreover of Israel, of the sons of Parosh, Ramiah, and Jeziah, and Malchiah, and Mayamin, and Eliezer, and Melchijah, and Benaiah, and of the sons of Elam, Mataniah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, and Abdi, and Jeremoth, and Eliah, and of the sons of Zatu, Eloinai, Eliashib, Mataniah, and Jeremoth, and Zebad, and Azizah, and the sons also of Bibai, Jehohenan, Hananiah, Zabai and Athlai, and of the sons of Benai, Meshulam, Malach, and Adiah, Jashub, and Shial, and Remoth, and of the sons of Pehath Moab, Adna, and Kilal, Benaiah, Measiah, Mataniah, Bezeliel, and Benuai, and Manasseh, and of the sons of Harim, Eliezer, Ishijah, Malchiah, Shemaiah, Shimeon, Benjamin, Malach, and Shemariah, of the sons of Hashum, Matinai, Matatha, Zabad, Eliphalet, Jerimei, Manasi, and Shimei. Of the sons of Benai, Meadei, Amram, and Uel, Benea, Bedaya, Kelu, Venaya, Meramoth, Eliashib, Matanaya, Matinai, and Jeashau, and Benai, and Binuai, Shimei, and Shelemiah, and Nathan, and Adaya. Machnebai, Sheshai, Sharei, Azariel, and Shelemiah, Shemariah, Shalom, Amariah, and Joseph. Of the sons of Nebo, Jiael, Mattathiah, Zebad, Zebina, Jedau, and Joel, Benaiah. All these had taken strange wives, and some of them had wives by whom they had children.